Good morning, everyone. So uh, this is, uh, my name is Aiko Terao and I am the head of the International Student Exchange Office. And uh, we are here today to present our university to the attendees of the Unismart Italy web fair uh, that we are having in Vietnam at the moment. Um, so the schedule today will be a short presentation of the university by the delegate of the rector, Professor Roberto Ranzi, delegate of the rector for international affairs. Uh, we will present you the master's degree in communication technologies and multimedia. Mm, the presentation will be made by Professor Riccardo Leonardi. And uh, we are going to invite our student, Yen, to um, talk a little bit about her experience as a student uh, in, uh, at our university and currently a PhD student uh, at UniBS. So, um, Professor Rand, if you want to share your presentation, Yes, uh, thank you. Okay, thank you, Aiko. Uh, hi, uh, hi, everybody. It is a pleasure for me to briefly introduce our uh, university, which uh, has a long standing. Uh, uh, cooperation experience with uh, Vietnam, I would say, uh, since uh, 2002, we, we started our first contact, uh, first in uh, research uh, and then uh, in, uh, in higher uh, education. Uh, this is the rector's uh, uh, house, the, the building where the uh, the rector works, uh, and uh, as you can see, uh, it is an, uh, uh, an old palace uh, from the uh, 17th uh, century. In fact, uh, Brescia is a typical uh, mid-sized uh, uh, town, uh, as we have about 100 in uh, uh, in Italy, but rich of uh, uh, of history, well rooted. Uh, in the past, uh, but uh, with uh, an open mind uh, to the uh, to the future. So our university has a um, little more than uh, 15,000 uh, students, uh, 600 academic uh, staff, uh, about uh, 500 uh, administrative staff, uh, and uh, 10 PhD programs uh, because one more started this year and uh, uh, 17 postgraduate uh, problems programs and uh, eight uh, departments uh, so uh, brescia is uh, in the, in the core of one uh, of the most uh, uh, lively uh, areas in terms uh, of uh, economics uh, manufacturing and and business uh, it has 40% uh, of the manufacturing capabilities of milan with just 10% uh, of the population of the uh, province and uh, it is in lombardy which is in one of the top uh, uh, regions uh, for gdp in europe together with london and uh, and paris it has a unique economy of about 100,000 small and medium enterprises and some uh, or large ones. And uh, we are experiencing an ongoing radical change in our economy, moving, moving towards smart and sustainable manufacturing. This is a young university, uh, university fostering education and research uh, excellence. This is the view from the from the castle. You can see uh, both modern and Renaissance uh, period buildings, uh, and uh, uh, this is uh, the ruins of a Roman uh, temple because it was a very important uh, uh, town also at the time. Uh, of the Romans about 2000 years uh, uh, ago, but it is modern as well. So uh, although it is a small town, we have a, a subway. We are possibly the, the smallest town in, in Italy and one of the smallest in Europe with a, uh, with a subway. And uh, we have now we are approaching the, the 40 years uh, of uh, uh, age. Uh, we have four areas in economics, engineering, law, medicine, eight departments, uh, 45 bachelor and master degrees, uh, as I said to you, 600 faculty and uh, PhD uh, programs. 
the the life uh, uh, the the student's life uh, is uh, is brilliant and later yen who was uh, our former master students and now is a phd students can say something to you about also in vietnamese uh, uh, language our university is a research oriented university and uh, the proof uh, is that uh, uh, we are ranked uh, in the range 200 300 worldwide for the citation impact uh, according to Times uh, Higher Education and uh, <coughs> QS. And this uh, research is developed in eight uh, departments, uh, three in the areas of uh, engineering, information engineering, later Professor Lonardi will uh, speak something about, uh, then the mechanical industrial engineering, civil environmental architectural engineering and mathematics. We have one large department of economics and management, uh, three departments uh, in the area of uh, uh, medicine and biotech, uh, uh, the, these uh, three red uh, in red and one department of uh, of law. Um, uh, the outcome, the research outcome uh, from these uh, uh, eight departments is very brilliant. In our short uh, history, we already produced uh, over 26,000 of publications uh, in uh, in Scopus, uh, as you can see. In the, in the area of uh, medicine, uh, biotechnologies, engineering, uh, computer science, uh, education and business and, uh, and law. And uh, one of uh, our uh, best performances are in the employability of our students. So you can see uh, uh, here in the uh, in the top uh, we are in the uh, top right uh, corner of this diagram where on the x axis uh, you see the monthly income of our graduate students 3 years after the degree and in the y axis uh, you can see the occupation rate of our um, uh, postgraduate students of our graduate students, uh, about 95% of our students work uh, three years after their degree. And this is a result of an independent uh, uh, agency um, all about Italy. So we are basically first among public university for employability in this uh, diagram. And this uh, is uh, shown also in this uh, diagram where you see that we have better performance than in Lombardy and in the average of, uh, of Italy. Uh, very recently, uh, yesterday, uh, on the 21st of April, Times Higher Education published our <coughs> ranking uh, in terms uh, of uh, commitment uh, and performance related to the 17 uh, United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. And uh, we are among the first uh, uh, 400 university worldwide over uh, 1000 plus. Uh, and we, we showed that to be active in research but also in uh, in programs in projects in uh, in activities uh, in terms of a commitment to these uh, um, uh, 17 sdgs so we are a sustainable university um, if you like uh, another uh, independent uh, uh, ranking uh, uh, agency in italy non-profit one um, showed us that our masters in uh, in engineering are ranked first uh, from the outcome of the students questionnaires so the student satisfaction is very very uh, high in this area but it is quite good also in the, the other areas, medicine, uh, economics, and, uh, and law. So we are open to, to the world. We have uh, 140 plus agreements uh, uh, worldwide uh, and uh, five with uh, uh, Vietnam for over than uh, 10, uh, 10 years. 
in the area of uh, uh, engineering, uh, economics, uh, uh, especially in these uh, two uh, areas, but also uh, uh, law. Um, the, our international outlook is steadily improving. You can see, starting with 2016, Times Higher Education shows that we are uh, improving year by, uh, by year. So uh, we have also a special long-standing link with uh, Vietnam. This is uh, an example uh, of me at the Van Mieu Temple with um, uh, some of our uh, PhD students who studied in, uh, in Brescia and one master student who came in Brescia for, for internship. And, uh, uh, and so this uh, uh, this uh, tradition in higher education with the Vietnamese students uh, is uh, very, uh, very solid. Um, I will briefly present our academic offer taught in an English uh, language, uh, as we assume that uh, Vietnamese students are mostly uh, interested in, uh, in that. Uh, I teach uh, uh, hydraulic structures uh, in this master in civil and environmental engineering. Uh, where we are focused on the qualification of the built environment uh, in the architectural and structural restoration, uh, in uh, water resources management and uh, uh, climate change uh, and natural risk uh, uh, mitigation, and in sustainable land planning, uh, pollution control and uh, uh, treatment. Um, then uh, later, more in detail, uh, Professor Lonardi will present uh, this uh, Master in Communication Technologies and Multimedia, so I skip it. And then there are two Masters uh, in, uh, uh, in Management uh, with a major in uh, Green Economy and Sustainability, um, aiming at preparing students to face uh, challenges uh, typical of uh, times of deep economic change, especially now after the, the pandemic, we have to restructure our uh, approach to an economy which, uh, which pays attention also to the environment and the uh, sustainability. And this is the, the syllabus uh, uh, where you can, uh, uh, you can see that you will develop uh, skills in, in business, uh, in environmental economics, in resources and energy economics uh, and logistics and uh, so on. A second major is in uh, international business. The area of uh, economic area of Brescia is uh, highly or oriented toward uh, the export. Uh, and so because of that, the, the international business is, uh, is very important. Uh, and this is the, the syllabus of this uh, course. Then we have other courses with, uh, let's say, one year taught in English language, so this is uh, uh, attractive for, for instance, double degree programs. So you can study, for instance, in Vietnam for one year and visit us for uh, another uh, year. And uh, these courses, for instance, uh, are in the Bachelor in Economics and Digital Company, in Business Administration and in Management uh, Engineering. I briefly list here the PhD programs. Uh, the call for scholarship is open around uh, June, July, and uh, there are <coughs> quite a lot uh, of about uh, 50, 60 scholarships uh, available in these uh, uh, areas. So mainly uh, engineering, uh, medicine, uh, but also economics uh, and uh, one PhD in uh, in law so i leave the floor to to Aiko, who will uh, uh, present uh, to you the the rules uh, and the information about the admission procedures and uh, the uh, the students uh, life then later you can pose uh, questions uh, and we will uh, reply if uh, any question will be uh, posed to us Thank you, thank you, Professor. I will show uh, now my screen. Uh, 
Can you see the presentation? Yes. OK, so just uh, just a few words before giving the floor to Professor Leonardi to present the master's degree in communication technologies. I just wanted to um, to talk briefly about admission. Uh, if you haven't already uh, applied for a scholarship, um, call for scholarships unfortunately are, are closed now, but you can still apply for admission to the course. So um, we will share the presentation later where you can click on the link. Can you see the full the full screen presentation? Yes. Not you must go to. No. OK. Yeah. Yes. OK. So now you can um, you will see on our website we have a dedicated page where you can look for admission procedures. Um, you should first ask for uh, your degree and curriculum pre-evaluation where a commission will gather all documents and assess your preparation to enroll in the master's degree. Um, it's a uh, it's an online procedure, so uh, you should just click on the link and and follow the instructions for uh, the pre evaluation. After you have been evaluated and you have um, received an email confirming that you are uh, you can possibly be admitted to the course, then you can apply for a student visa. Information about procedures are published online. Uh, as for uh, student services, we we have an office dedicated to international student services. Um, we will provide accommodation on campus if you apply on time for that. Uh, we will assist you uh, for immigration procedures before and after your arrival. And uh, we will offer you a free Italian language course. Uh, one is starting before the first semester and the second one is starting later before the second semester. As for tuition fees and living costs in Italy, public universities have um, calculated their tuition fees based on the family income of the student and also on a geographical um, the, the, the country where the student come from. So as a Vietnamese student, uh, you are ranked in a, as a low medium income country. So uh, the minimum you will pay if you show your family income is quite low. You will get the chance to enroll in the re register in the university for 160 euros a year. Uh, if you don't show your family income, the maximum amount that you can pay for tuition fees at our university will be 1000 euros a year. Lodging as well, you can apply based on family income, you can apply for a free free accommodation on campus or uh, for a lower rate. So this is just, uh, you know, this is just an example, but uh, if you apply for a reduction, you can have a reduction on the price of the accommodation. The same goes for meals. So you can apply to get a reduction on uh, our canteen service. The health insurance will be about 200 euros a year if you register in the national health care system in Italy. The student residence permit is the price changes the, every year, but uh, at the moment I think it's around 70 euros. Uh, and uh, you will get a discount on local transportation pass as a university student. So this is just an example. When you are enrolled in our university, you can also apply for a study abroad scholarship. So after your first year or during the first year, you can apply to um, attend your second year in another partner university in Europe or uh, outside of Europe. We have some agreements. Uh, it depends on the course that you are enrolled in, but we have some uh, agreements also in Japan, in the United States and in Argentina. We have some double degrees program and the most uh, popular one and the most accessible also is the Erasmus program, which gives you the chance to spend a semester abroad with a scholarship or even one academic year abroad uh, with a scholarship, with a monthly scholarship in the more than 80 partner universities that we, we have partnered with. Uh, this is just a 
<clears throat> it's a uh, from a few years ago now they are not ranking universities anymore like this but uh, we were the first medium-sized university for uh, incoming students overall satisfaction in the Erasmus program um, this is the um, links where you can find uh, some information you can uh, you can check out our video uh, presentation of the university and these are the links where you can find the, um, the presentations of the, our courses. And uh, I will share this presentation with you so that you can have our contacts. You can contact us uh, to these two email addresses, one for students and for bachelors and masters and the other one is for PhDs and also the links to our website. This would be all. So I will give the floor to Professor Riccardo Leonardi to say a few words about the master's degree course in communication technologies and multimedia. Thank you very much, Aiko. Let me try to share my screen. You see it? Not yet, probably. <clears throat> okay, so thank you very much. So I'm going to briefly uh, present you, you know, the the program that is the graduate program and we taught, we teach in English. Just to give you a survey, so I'm part of the Department of Information Engineering. We have three undergraduate degrees uh, uh, in computer science and engineering, in electronics, and a new uh, degree which is called digital company engineering. Uh, and then we have uh, three graduate programs at the master level, which are the communication technologies and multimedia program, the electronics engineering program, and the computer engineering master uh, program. And then we have uh, two programs in uh, at the PhD level, which is the Information Engineering Doctorate and the Technology of, for Health Doctorate, which is a joint uh, PhD program with the Faculty of Medicine. Now I'm going to focus on this one, on uh, communication technologies and multimedia. So essentially, this is a two-year Master of Science program. Uh, you have some details on the, on, on the link. Uh, this will be posted, uh, I suppose, uh, and accessible from the slides that will be provided uh, by ICO, and, uh, and you can find information on, on, on the website. So essentially, the degree provides advanced knowledge on uh, artificial intelligence-based technologies, uh, especially for managing information like uh, video, audio, uh, and, uh, and images. Uh, we specialize in particular on internet-based services, so interactive communication, uh, video that you find in YouTube, how you actually organize this kind of stuff. I'm going to give some details in the next slide. Uh, internet of Things, which are essentially devices for, that allow you to measure out the world. Uh, and, the, you, you know, all this information needs to be treated and process so that you can understand what you can do with it, uh, either for controlling or for having a, a preferred advertisement strategies for companies. So this is new kind of economies. And then we also have a strong emphasis on infrastructures and devices. So this goes for the 5G system, so the fifth generation communication system, which is being deployed right now vehicular networks, uh, wireless technologies, security aspects, uh, or, which is specifically called cybersecurity, optical communications, this one including nanotechnologies and photonics. So this is a list of uh, the main courses which are really thematic for the communication technologies and multimedia program. Overall, you do uh, 120 uh, credits, which are called ECTS at the European level. Uh, these are the list of courses that you can find in this program. Uh, clearly, if you add them up, they, they are more than 120. They are specific and it depends on your interest. You can build up, you know, a study plan that will make use of these courses. Uh, we, we essentially, what is important, in addition to selecting some of these courses, you can 
have elect electives uh, aspects which uh, uh, which allow you also to do a thesis work on uh, the last 30 uh, credits for the program. Uh, just to give you an example, you know, I talked about uh, video. This is going to be treated in this course, like multimedia communication services. We talk about cybersecurity, it's network security course. If we talk about vehicular networks, it's this one that you find on the end. And clearly the syllabus of the course program are available in English, and so you can have the details and understand if you might be interested in these. Now, why don't I have... Seems like I don't. For some reason, I don't have um, the exit the presentation mode. OK, sorry. Yeah, one important thing Professor Ranzi said is, you know, we are an university which is strongly based on research and not only in terms of public uh, of, uh, you know, production, but also in terms of quality of the research. So we, for example, have some of our uh, faculty members that have been awarded, you know, uh, prizes, which are absolutely uh, uh, very rare in Europe. There is only two such prizes that have been award, awarded within the European Union since the foundation of this prize, which is 70 years old. And one of the young faculty in our university did receive it. And this was a statement that was actually uh, made by, you know, whoever uh, gave him the prize. It seems that uh, the work is not only remarkable for the person, but especially because it was actually initiated in a university where you don't have really an infrastructure for having this kind of uh, facilities. Now, uh, the, the areas in which we perform our research uh, are represented below. So the, the originating area is the one in the center, which is essentially multimedia services. That gives the name to part of the degree. And uh, a younger, uh, you know, activities that are not of the, uh, of the lesser quality is related in particular to uh, optical communication, photonics, and electromagnetics. And more recently, we also uh, have uh, moved towards the system level activities which are related to networking and security, as I mentioned previously. Overall, you know, the people that really teach these courses, we have six full professors, six associate professors, four assistant professors, and then postdoctoral fellows and PhD students, which support, you know, the studies of, uh, uh, of the research we perform. Now, this is to give you a little bit the three areas of expertise. As I said, one is more centered in math. So that's why you see the math word on the top right. So this is really the multimedia word which is behind it. Uh, the keywords in terms of teaching classes are digital signal processing and artificial intelligence. So we, we have one activity which is pertaining audio, relating to speech, speech recognition, music coding, uh, sound engineering and, and speech processing in general. This is the kind of, you know, picture that you see. Then we have activities relating instead to the imaging or visual communication. So video, computer graphics, advanced imaging technologies that make use of what's called high dynamic ranging, digital watermarking, three-dimensional data acquisition. This is like, for example, a 3D model. These are what are called uh, HDR, so high dynamic range images, allow you to see things at very different scale in terms of illumination that will become available in the near future for devices that you will be using, including cell phones. Uh, the second topic is, you know, the system level infrastructure. Uh, we've uh, the keywords are network security, wireless, 5G systems. So you essentially design and look into the devices that connect, you know, the different things that you find so that all the communication we have in the world is actually working. Uh, it includes also clearly not only the devices, but the software which is required to, to share to the protocols that have been designed to, to share the information and to avoid, you know, uh, malicious attacks and, and find countermeasures in case you get, you know, uh, your system that is blocked like this this thing happens many times sometimes when you're on the web and the last domain is really the physical layer domain so it's the optical communications and photonics with nonlinear optics optical communication quantum technologies uh, so you deal with the propagation of light fundamentally and all the 
uh, the domain. So this gives you a broad spectrum of expertise, which is highly, you know, demanded worldwide. Uh, even you know, we are far from being able to train the number of people which are needed for Italy. But forget it. Also worldwide, you can find plenty of opportunities for employment later on. And if you're interested, in, then you can also uh, embrace a research career. So this gives the picture a little bit about our uh, two year master program. So thanks a lot. And I'm going to give back the floor to. Uh, back Thank to you. Thank you, Professor. It has been very interesting for um, for me as well. Um, if you'd like, uh, I would like to give the floor to Yen, our former master's students and now PhD candidate. Um, Yen, you can you can speak in English or in Vietnamese as you prefer. And I would like for you to talk a little bit about your experience as a student uh, in our university and in Brescia in general. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, good morning, Professor. Leonardi, Professor Andy. Um, uh, as first, let me introduce myself. My name is Tien. I'm, I'm a Vietnamese student in UniBS, and I studied the master degree of civil environmental engineering. And now I pursue the PhD by uh, uh, PhD course in civil and environmental engineering too. So. At first, I want to ask the guest uh, if uh, any one of you want to ask a question. Uh, I know that uh, there are some students who applied for the scholarship this, this year. So. I believe, uh, Yen, that you can uh, speak uh, also in Vietnamese about your uh, life experience uh, in Brescia, and then uh, at the end, uh, those interested can uh, pose uh, uh, questions uh, to, to all of us. So, okay. So now I will switch to Vietnamese. Okay. Which is yeah. such a beautiful language that we we love to hear you speaking in, uh, in Vietnamese. Yes, uh, and uh, after that, I, I will try to summarize in English so that uh, for you all can understand. And the cuộc sống ở Russia thì đầu tiên là chắc là đối với rất là nhiều người thì khi mà nghe đến thành phố Russia thì đấy không phải một thành phố quá là nổi tiếng ở Ý và đối với mình thì cũng vậy khi mà lần đầu tiên mà mình um, apply cho học bổng ở Russia thì mình cũng khá là phân vân nhưng mà nếu mà đấy là mối quan tâm của các bạn thì mình có thể xác chắn là Russia tuy không phải là thành phố nổi tiếng nhưng mà vì uh, nó nằm ở phía bắc ở trong ở trong vùng Lombardy là một vùng kinh tế phát lớn nhất phát triển nhất ở Ý thì tất cả về hệ thống cơ sở hạ tầng và về học tập về chỗ ăn chỗ ở và hoàn toàn có thể đáp ứng tất cả các nhu cầu của bạn và về sự thì thời tiết ở đây cũng rất là dễ chịu không quá lạnh cũng không quá nóng cũng có đầy đủ tất cả các phương tiện công cộng và thuận tiện cho di chuyển có cả metro buýt và nếu là sinh viên thì ở năm đầu tiên nếu mà sinh viên năm đầu tiên thì bạn có thể uh, đăng ký cái um, vé xe điện với lại giá ưu đãi cho sinh viên là 180 đi ơ một năm và với cái vé đấy thì bạn có thể đi lại thoải mái ở trong vùng Russia ở trong ở trong Russia với tất cả các phương tiện công cộng um, hay là về chương trình học thì nếu như bạn học những ngành về tất cả về ngành của mình nói riêng là Civil, environmental and civil engineering thì uh, các môn học ở trong uh, ở trong cái uh, các môn học ở trường thì nó khá là phù hợp với lại những bạn mà đã học uh, có background về uh, về uh, xây dựng và 
đối với những bạn có background về môi trường thì cũng sẽ hơi khó khăn một chút cho các bạn để theo những cái môn về xây dựng nhưng mà nhìn chung một chương trình học sẽ không quá là nặng còn mình cũng đã tham khảo các chương trình học về bên kinh tế thì hầu hết các môn thì các bạn cũng sẽ nó cũng rất khá là giống như các môn các bạn đã học ở, ở các trường kinh tế ở nhà tại vì là mình cũng có bạn học đã từng học ở ngoại thương này và học đại học kinh tế quốc dân ở bên Việt Nam cũng như là có một người chị học đại học kinh tế ở bên, ở trong thành phố Hồ Chí Minh thì chương trình học đều khá là tương đồng nên là các bạn sẽ không phải lo lắng còn thứ ba là nói về chỗ ở thì uh, thực sự là mình đã mình cũng nói chuyện với rất là nhiều những cái bạn này, sinh viên mà ở dưới uh, các uh, khu vực và phía miền Trung và phía miền Nam của Ý thì ở dưới đấy um, như là ở Padova hoặc là ở um, khu uh, trường ở dưới đảo ở Sicily thì các bạn đều khá là khó khăn trong cái việc uh, tìm nhà ở bên ngoài và ký túc xá của trường thì không đáp ứng được đủ cái nhu cầu của sinh viên mà hiện nay thì ở Russia thì khi mà bạn đăng ký và có học bổng thì chắc chắn là bạn sẽ có thể đăng ký được nơi ở ở trong ký túc xá với giá rẻ hơn rất là nhiều so với các khu vực khác và 150 đồng một tháng 150 đồng một tháng và với lại bạn có thể sử dụng điện điện mặt trời và free nước wifi cũng không phải trả thêm bất cứ gì phí gì hết còn kể cả nếu như mà bạn muốn apply học bổng vùng để sang thì việc thuê nhà bên ngoài cũng dễ dàng hơn rất là nhiều và ở ngay khu vực ở gần trường thì có rất là nhiều các khu tập các khu apartment để bạn có thể thuê với giá dao động từ 200 đến 300 ơn một tháng còn với học với học bổng có 5.500 ơ một năm của trường thì mình có thể uh, chắc chắn là sẽ đủ cho chi phí sinh hoạt của bạn mà có ý là bạn không cần phải xin thêm vì uh, gia đình cũng như là um, bạn có thể dành một ít uh, nếu mà bạn chi tiêu tốt thì cũng vẫn có thể đủ khả năng để đi du lịch uh, để dành các khoản tiền để đi du lịch uh, vì thế nên là um, nếu như bạn vẫn phân vân về điều phân vân của bạn là về học bổng của trường thì Uh, nếu nếu bạn có chỉ cần chuẩn bị được vé uh, máy bay và các thủ và tiền để cho các khoản phí cho visa thì với 5.500 euro thì bạn sẽ hoàn toàn đủ hệ số ở ở ý. So, đấy là tất cả những chia sẻ của mình à, và ở bên ở Russia thì hội sinh viên Việt Nam cũng khá là đông cũng phải cũng khá là đông và có sự giúp đỡ rất là nhiệt tình của Uh, thầy đi nên là các bạn sẽ không phải lo lắng khi mà sang này bị lạc lõng làm sao cả thế là những chia sẻ mà mình đã trải qua còn nếu như mà mọi người mà có câu hỏi gì thêm về học bổng thì có thể hỏi nên sang đây mình cảm ơn I I finish the presentation uh, Thank you Ian and thank you uh... Uh, professors in uh, Presia University. Uh, actually, I just know about this uh, event and uh, was just invited by Ian. And uh, I found many helpful information. Uh, actually, um, I, I have applied for the master program in management, um, major in international business. Uh, so I want to ask whether I can apply for any exchange program, uh, uh, for example, like Erasmus uh, Mundas uh, exchange program or any other universities uh, in other countries. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. Um, yes, of course. When you get enrolled to the master's degree and you start your courses in September, so in September you will be attending your first year of the master's in management. And uh, in December, we are going to publish the call to open the call for scholarships for exchange. Um, okay, so uh, the Erasmus one, we are only publishing one call and you can apply for it in December in order to attend the second year of your master's abroad. Okay, 
So um, you will get all the information. Uh, we are uh, sending the information. We are translating the call in English and we are sending the information in English as well because every year we have more and more international students applying for the uh, exchange program. So it is not a very competitive call, meaning that uh, as you will be enrolled in the first year of your master's, we are not going to be able to evaluate your previous career. We will take into account your um, your degree marks. So, uh, of course, you will, you will have a bachelor's degree uh, in order to be admitted to the master's and we're going to evaluate your so you will be ranked based on your bachelor's degree and uh, you will get the chance to apply for um, for a semester or one year abroad during your second year. OK, the um, English language, uh, a good knowledge of the English language is uh, mandatory, of course. And with that, you can apply for many, many host universities. Uh, so I will, uh, I'm sure, inviting you to um, to apply for the scholarship when when you are enrolled in the masters. Thank you for your information. Yes. Yeah, just a comment for hi. So you applied for the for the scholarship uh, this year, correct? Yes. Yeah, I yeah. applied for element. Um, element scholarship. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we we are working uh, on the on the ranking. Uh, I can tell you, uh, we were a little bit uh, late just uh, because we received uh, quite a high number of application, about three hundred and thirty. But uh, soon uh, you you will receive the no notification uh, of the uh, result, and um, I can tell you that about uh, the possibility to study ab abroad. Uh, in addition to the um, uh, to the um, Erasmus program, we have uh, also some. Uh, um, some agreements uh, uh, with uh, with other universities uh, worldwide. So, for instance, uh, there are some of our students uh, can study at the Georgia Institute of Technology in the in the area area of uh, uh, information technology, or they can. Uh, study at the Columbia University uh, in civil engineering or management uh, as well and uh, they they can get both the master in those uh, uh, highly reputed uh, university and uh, the master in uh, in Brescia uh, so they spend one year in New York and uh, one year in Brescia uh, for that uh, unfortunately we have uh, only we can cover only part of the tuition fee which are very high you know but uh, if the if your income can uh, uh, can meet the, these uh, high standards, uh, there is also this uh, uh, opportunity. The university supports the accommodation in New York. Uh, we have a small uh, um, uh, accommodation facility in, uh, in Manhattan for six of our students, so they can live there for free for for one year. This is our yes top quality uh, exchange uh, program, and we had uh, already uh, quite a few students uh, with a double degree with the Columbia or New York University. Yes, uh, I just want to add that, especially for students enrolled in the master's degree in management, we have lots of opportunities. So um, I, I think first it's better to wait for the confirmation that you can be enrolled in our master's and then I invite you to get in touch with my office. Um, the, our contacts are in the presentation that we are going to, to share. Uh, but uh, yes, um, if you're interested in exchange programs, we have different um, many opportunities also for thesis abroad for when you are about to finish your studies you can go abroad uh, everywhere in the world we, we we will give you a scholarship to to research abroad for your final thesis so many options and uh, this is especially what my office is dealing with and we are managing exchange programs so i invite you to 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 contact me okay after you enrolled in the masters yes, yes. thank you uh, I also want to ask about uh, how about the internship? 
Uh, can I have any? Can I, can I have uh, undertake any internship during my study in the university? Yes, of or just in summer. Uh, you can. Um, I think in the management uh, master's course, I think the the internship is part of your curriculum. I'm not quite sure, but I think so. And you can apply uh, to uh, do your internship in Italy, in Brescia, or abroad. We are also giving scholarships for, well, the Erasmus program, the exchange program, is not only for studying abroad, but it's also for internships abroad in Europe. So you can apply for the call for that. Uh, we publish, we open two calls per year at least. So you will have one call in the summer and one in the winter, which means June, December in Italy. And um, and yes, you can apply for a scholarship for maximum, I think it's six months, uh, no, 12 months abroad you know, as a, for your internship. Uh, thank you. You can so match. You can also, you know, do maybe six months uh, studying abroad and then add maybe just two, three months of internship abroad uh, during your two years uh, of your master's. Yeah, it sounds interesting. Thank you. May I add something, Aiko? Can I? Sure. There, there is a, also a program which is called Study in Italy. Uh, program that is directly funded by the ministry, which has, uh, in addition of, uh, in case you get finance, so it's a very competitive program, that one, we can get a couple of students a year from uh, that enter this program. I think the deadline is passed this year, right, uh, Roberto? It's already finished, the study in Italy program. Audio. Yes, I, I believe yes, we, we can check. In any case, we, we publish on our scholarship website uh, also the, the Ministry of Opportunities for, for getting a scholarship. So you can look in our web and in the scholarship page. Uh, uh, also, these opportunities are listed. Yes, the Invest Your Talent in Italy Sorry, uh, scholarship to mean that, uh, yes, it is open uh, generally in December and uh, it, is, uh, it is closed in, uh, in February. So this year is over, but next year there is this opportunity. The, the, the Invest of Your Talent in Italy has the advantage that it, it organizes mandatorily internship for all the students and it will pay the fellowship during that time. So it's it's uh, it's more than two years, it's two and a half year actually, and uh, it's uh, very well uh, organized. And uh, you have a company that is really looked upon by the by the ministry. So if you can access that program that I would say it's a marvel for for doing jointly a degree and an internship, just in case you know you, you have friends that might apply next year and after following you here, you know, that's just 